5 Abandoned Towns of the World Ghost Town One dot Vivaikana, Estonia Ghost Town Vivaikana is probably Estonia's most famous ghost town. Once a mining town of a few thousand people, its population has since dropped to some 90 permanent residents. It's not really known how many people lived here at its peak, but it is certain that the current residents include a few families of pensioners who have lived here for decades and some stray cats. Vivaikana was a mining town during Soviet times. After World War II, Nazi war prisoners were forced to work in construction in many parts of Estonia, and they built most of Vivaikana in the Stalinist style. The town was finished in 1955, but its downfall began soon afterwards in 1974 after the closing of the mine. People moved away in search of jobs and better opportunities. Vivaikana lost its status as a municipality in 1993 when Estonia regained independence, and at the beginning of the 2000s, its running water and electricity were cut off, scaring away quite a few residents. The ones who stayed behind became creative with finding alternative water and electricity sources and got really into heavy metal. By that I mean many of them stole construction metal from the abandoned buildings to sell as scrap. 2. Alaska Ghost Town King Island Abandoned for 50 Years A century ago, King Island was a bustling community of 200 people who passed their days hunting seals and their long winter nights dancing beneath the wide Alaska skies. But now, after a series of tragedies, the island stands deserted, reduced to a collection of crumbling, empty homes, a mere skeleton of the thriving neighborhood it once was. Seventy years ago, as the island's men were shipped off to battle in World War II and a savage outbreak of tuberculosis claimed many of those left behind, numbers began to dwindle. The lure of jobs and better medical care on the mainland also added to the exodus, and finally the Bureau of Indian Affairs closed the island's only school in 1959 because of fears of Iraq's life. 3. Dole the ghost town that's a paradise for graffiti artists. Dole 400-year-old village northwest of Antwerp that has been at the heart of a political battle for survival for over two decades. A state-funded corporation is seeking to raise it to make way for the land-hungry port of Antwerp. But members of the ever-dwindling local populace are fighting to keep their homes and the village alive. They say a second container dock isn't necessary since the previous one which opened in 2005, is being used to less than a fifth of its capacity, the corporation disputes this figure. What's more, they argue, the Riverside Village has lush nature, culture and heritage in abundance. Plus the first stone mill in Belgium and a listed early 17th century house that belonged to Peter Paul Rubens's family. From a population of around 1,300 in the early 70s, there are now only 25 inhabitants left. But they are a brave and well-organized bunch. A 52-year-old named Marina Apers is their unlikely champion. She lives in the house emblazoned with banners announcing that she and her husband will leave Dole no over our dead bodies. Every time the government succeed in something, we start legal procedures against them. And mostly, we win, she says. So far, the EU's strict environmental laws have been on the villagers' side. Dole is, among other things, home to one of Europe's largest swallow colonies. 4. Fengdu Ghost City China The city consists of buildings, structures, dioramas, and statues that are related to Du, the concept of the underworld and hell or Naraka in Chinese mythology and Buddhism. It is modeled to resemble Yaodu, the capital of Du. After the building of the Three Gorges Dam and the rising of the water level of the river it became separated from the city of Fengdu, which was rebuilt higher up the mountainside on the south side of the river. According to legend, Fengdu got its name of Ghost City during the Eastern Han Dynasty when two imperial officials, Yin Chengxin and Wang Fengping, came to Ming Mountain to practice Taoism and in the process became immortals. The combination of their names, Yin Wan, means King of Hell and that was the beginning of the site's focus on the underworld. Many of the temples and shrines show paintings and sculptures of people being tortured for their sins. According to Chinese beliefs, the dead must pass three tests before passing to the next life. First they must pass the Bridge of Helplessness. This stone bridge was built during the Ming Dynasty and is a test for good and evil. It has three arches and only the middle one is used for testing people. 
There are different protocols for crossing the bridge depending on sex, age, marital status. At the bridge demons allow or forbid passage. The good are allowed to pass while the evil will be pushed to the water below. This is now done as a tourist attraction and performers characterized as demons momentarily stop tourists on the bridge but finally allow them across. Then the dead must proceed to ghost torturing pass where they present themselves for judgment before Yama, king of hell. This is the second test. In this area there are large sculptures of demons. 5. The Abandoned Towns of Fukushima Ghost Town The Abandoned Towns of Fukushima Four years after the devastating Japan earthquake and tsunami that left nearly 19,000 people dead or missing and displaced more than 300,000, the surrounding towns of Fukushima Daiki nuclear plant remain abandoned. Even today, tens of thousands of survivors live in temporary housing as the area surrounding the nuclear plant remains too contaminated by radiation for residents to return for more than short visits.